What's up guys, it's time to test out some benchmarks. It's the Sony Xperia Z on the left versus the Google Nexus 4 on the right. In terms of hardware, both have the S4 Pro chipset with the Adreno 320 GPU. It's a 1.5 gigahertz quad core chipset and they both have two gigabytes of RAM. Now, where they differ is the Sony Xperia Z has a 1080p screen versus the Google Nexus 4's 768. So it might be harder to push the uh, pixels over here on the Xperia Z and we might see a lower GPU score, but we'll have to wait out and see. So um, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna start off with uh, Quadrant. We'll see if anything's open, nothing is. So we'll start off with Quadrant, which isn't the best benchmarking app, but it's, uh, it's okay. So we'll start these up. By the way, I'm not running any custom ROMs or kernels on there, so it's uh, stock, so this is how it comes. There's no uh, funny business. We'll hit run, and here we go. Okay, so it looks like the Xperia Z's in front. Even though they're both running the same chipset, it's definitely pulled a lead. It's already on the 2D graphics. We're still over here, over here testing the CPU. And this is interesting, guys. Maybe Sony have uh, added some patches, you know, to speed things up for the S4 Pro. It's definitely the same chipset, so uh, strange. I've noticed it looks like a more consistent frame rate over here on the uh, Xperia Z as well, which is, uh, again, a bit strange considering it's running a higher resolution. Should score lower in GPU, but let's wait out for the score. So we've finished over here on the Xperia Z. And Nexus 4 is done as well, so we'll hit yes on both. Okay, wow, this is very interesting. So you can see the Xperia Z here scores 7,900, which dwarfs everything else on the list. And it also dwarfs the Nexus 4 score. You can see that scores 4,846, which is still top of the list, but nowhere near as top as the Xperia Z, even though they both have the same chipset. Now, this is Quadrant, and Quadrant can be a little bit funny, you know, there can be a lot of UI tweaks. What's interesting here though is the fact that the CPU score is so different. The Xperia Z is scoring 20304, 20,304. The Nexus 4 is scoring 10,246. So it's scoring a hell of a lot lower than the Xperia Z and that's very strange and I don't know why, but uh, there we go. We'll move on guys, we'll clear that out of memory and we'll run a more kind of reliable benchmark guys and it's uh, Antutu so we'll open these up at the same time one two three neck and neck pretty much neck and neck there for both so uh, nothing going on there we'll hit start test for both and they're off so uh, this one is kind of long guys so I'll probably just skip it and we'll see you at the results Okay guys, and they're both done. You can see the Nexus 4 scores 17,984, and the uh, Xperia Z scores 2732. So again, the Xperia Z beats the Nexus 4. Now let's check out the, um, the actual uh, scores in more detail. So you can see the Xperia Z in the CPU scores 8,905. The Nexus 4 scores 6,589, six, sorry, which, uh, is a lot lower in CPU score, and I'm not quite sure why, considering they're running the same uh, same chipset. It's really strange. Now, what does follow the form guide is the GPU scores. You can see here the Nexus 4 scores 8,194, which is higher than the uh, Xperia Z scoring 7,552. 7, Sorry, my numbers are shocking today. Um, and you know they're running the same GPU, but let's not forget the Xperia Z is running it at 1080p. Whereas this is running it as 768 or more accurately 71776. So uh, GPU is going to take a hit, but it doesn't take as big a hit as you think really. But uh, nonetheless, Xperia Z wins again. We'll submit these scores. Interesting, you can see the difference in the screen here as well, but uh, I'll talk about the screen a little bit later. We'll check out the chart where these list in the bar chart. All right, so uh, the Xperia Z is underneath the Galaxy S, the unreleased Galaxy S4, I should say, otherwise it's basically the top. The Nexus 4 at stock scores pretty much where it says it scores, below the Optimus G, uh, G as well. Um, strange, even though they're running the same chipset, but benchmarks don't mean everything, guys. But uh, yeah, it's 2-0 uh, to the Xperia Z.
Next up, guys, we've got, I think it's uh, Valermo we can do, which is uh, a user experience benchmark. So this should be, well, this might be a little bit different. We'll, uh, we'll check it out. See, I've never even uh, used these before either one. So we've got a little welcome tutorial. We're just going to hit over the uh, HTML5 stuff because you know, that's the cool test. No, we don't want a stupid thing. Okay, Nexus 4 is in front over here, and we're ready, and it's starting the test, uh, the uh, Xperia Z is taking a little bit longer. I'll wait for them both to kick in, and then I'll just uh, skip to the end, guys. Okay, so the Xperia Z is quite a way behind, I'm just going to skip Welcome that. back, guys, and just before I talk about the results, I've got to say the Sony Xperia Z took forever to actually start... But as you can see, once it started, it has scored a lot higher again than the Nexus 4. 2,182 compared to the Nexus 4's 1,392. So we'll uh, hit yes on both of these. Again, this is a user experience benchmark. So uh, yeah, tells you uh, what's best. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll zoom in because that's uh, quite difficult to see here, guys. You can see the uh, the Sony Xperia Z is top of that list, 2,182. It's top by uh, quite a long way, really. Um, you can see the Google Nexus is kind of below the Galaxy S3 International version, which is uh, is, is strange, guys. I um I don't really know why that is. It's now three nil in terms of benchmarks. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. So it's three nil to the Sony Xperia Z, and I wanted to show you one more benchmark in the uh, graphics test, the GL benchmark, but I can't show you it. Reason being, guys, is I can't actually get into it. Like when I do that on the Nexus Four, it goes into performance tests on the Sony Xperia. It doesn't do anything. I've tried reinstalling it, clearing the cache, doing everything. It just will not start this test, and I have no idea why. So we're just gonna have to. Uh, move that one along and pretty much give the Nexus 4 the win just because it can run it. So it uh, it kind of finished 3-1, but it's not really 3-1 uh, really there. But uh, it couldn't run it, so what could I do, guys? In terms of the other benchmarks, the Sony Xperia Z wins out. I mean, it beat it at Quadrant and 2-2, pretty much everything. Um, obviously, you can get higher benchmark scores by running a custom ROM and kernel, but on uh, stock ROM and stock kernel, the Xperia wins out in terms of performance in benchmarks. Now, that doesn't mean it's better in performance overall, and I'll be testing out the performance in general UI in a different video. But uh, yeah, benchmarks, you've got to give it to the Sony Xperia Z.